April Day. Well, we're celebrating it today, but in actual fact, it happened yesterday, celebrated by 140 countries across the globe. You can only imagine that concert of effort. Ayanda summarized it throughout the morning. We've had some interesting conversations with a manner of people. Right now, I'm probably talking to one of the most important people here at the uh, celebrations here in Kimberley, the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Malewa. Ma'am, thank you very much for joining me. Let's talk about this theme. It's a very interesting uh, theme this year. Seven billion dreams, one planet. Let's con uh, consume with care. How do you interpret that? And from a department, how do we make sure that we love that theme? Let me start by saying that actually this is not just a World Environment Day yesterday. It's a World Environment Month, so we celebrate it because on Monday is World Oceans Day and we also have in this same month World Desertification Day where we're fighting against desertification. Indeed, this is a very, very important month for us because, as we always say, our role in the department and in this whole sector is actually to protect people against ourselves so that we do not deplete the resources of the world. They are not infinite. They Sometimes we can actually go on mining until there's nothing for the future generations. So we can also go on to pollute the waters until, and actually get them even drying up, leaving all these uh, 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 indigenous trees and so forth, uh, drinking water. You were with us the other day as we're dealing with the dam, removing the alien and invasive species. We could do that and leave them and even bring them into the country when they are supposed, not supposed to be here. And yet... Later on, we find out that we don't have water and our generations don't have water. So this is a month where we say to humanity, please do note that indeed it is important that all of us note that and actually conduct ourselves in a manner that will help us to preserve these natural resources that we have been given by God to preserve, but also to utilize in a sustainable manner. So sustainable utilization is the name of a game. Melissa, in that, a lot of information is trading backwards and forwards, a lot of sharing, a lot of education. How are we doing at the global standard? 140 countries celebrate World, uh, World Environmental Day, looking at World Month. But how do we, as a country, rate in that education uh, system? Well, let me say that you can actually educate people without any base. As South Africa, we're very fortunate in that in 1994, we started with a process called CONEP. Uh, that was a consultation process of establishing our own laws, our own regulations, the do's and don'ts, because you can't be in this area and in this space and not actually have anything regulated. So we are doing well as a country relative to all the other countries of the world. 140 countries are celebrating. But yes, in education, we already, as we speak right now, have moved a great deal even into establishment of partnerships with the Department of Education, both higher education and the basic education, where we give intuition, education, awareness. We have a program called Fundisa, uh, and we continue with that. We're educating learners as well as educators about the importance of environment, but also the teachings and education as lessons in the classes. We're also having programs with municipalities throughout the country, awareness campaigns. And it's not only us, by the way. We welcome the various ambassadors who are here. I mean, there are many of them throughout since the first of June who have been going up and down the country, really making people aware of these infinite resources that, I mean, these resources that are not infinite, that can, must actually be preserved, but also cleaning. It's important to live in clean areas, not polluted, and they, they really have been doing well. As a country, I think we are one of those who are doing very well. Not only in this, by the way, also in the negotiations, in discussions all over the world. We subscribe to various protocols, if not all of them that are quite important. We are in all sessions and all meetings representing South Africa and ensuring that no decision gets taken without us being present in those uh, sessions. Minister, very quickly, we've got about 20 seconds or so. Let's quickly talk about one of the Millennium Goals, which is environmental sustainability. How are we faring? We actually are very glad that these SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, now have embodied in them strongly 
environment as a pillar. And not only that, it's actually dovetailed throughout so, so that sustainable de uh, development is realized. We are looking forward to passing those in December. I mean, in September, as a high-level meeting, we will be sitting in New York. But at home, we are actually practicing it. Every development has got to have sustainable development and environmental impact assessment to ensure that the three pillars of development are always balanced. Minister, we're going to leave it there. We can have this conversation here for the rest of the day. The Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Malewa, sharing her thoughts and insights on World Environmental Month. Not only the day, but there are so many initiatives throughout this month that makes us reflect on our impact on our environment. Let's go back to our Yandan studios.